We weren't uh, told that Henry Kissinger was going to be here at all today. You saw the look there on the face of the president, uh, a very determined expression on his face. We saw a similar expression on the face of the vice president, Mike <laughs> Pence, who talked uh, to reporters up on Capitol Hill uh, a little while ago and said that the president made a strong, uh, decisive piece of leadership here in terms of deciding to fire Comey. The president there uh, simply saying he wasn't doing a good job in his meeting with Henry Kissinger. I can tell you that there are Democrats. Democrats already criticizing this meeting just seconds after it's happened, which shows you uh, just how quickly things move in the news cycle in Washington, D.C., saying that on a day when uh, the president is being accused of Nixonian behavior, it's certainly ironic that he's appearing uh, with an actual Nixon uh, official uh, at the White House. That criticism coming from Democrats and critics, critics of the president, uh, supporters of the president, though, saying that this was a long time coming and something that the president needed to do. This White House uh, very defensive today about all this, and we'll see Sarah Huckabee say Sanders, uh, the White House spokesperson, briefing reporters in the place of Sean Spicer later today uh, in the briefing room. And you can imagine that she will field uh, quite a few questions about all of this as well, Carl. Uh, Eamon, uh, just to get your take on one thing, the Times is now up with a new lead uh, saying the days before he was fired, Comey asked DOJ for a significant increase in money and personnel. For the bureau's investigation into Russia's interference, the Times is citing three officials with knowledge of his request. Uh, so, given that and all the other color we have to work with today, um, people are going to chew on that. Yeah, I think that's right, Carl. I can't independently verify that reporting, but uh, clearly that would be evidence uh, that this investigation was picking up steam uh, and and moving along in a way that the FBI director felt he needed more resources to make it happen. And that would be something that's of concern here at the White House. This White House doesn't believe there needs to be an investigation into any of this. They believe that there is simply no evidence of collusion between Donald Trump, his aides, uh, or anybody on the Trump team with the Russian government in terms of the 2016 election. So that would have been a concerning moment. But so far, at least, we are told uh, that uh, the White House is not necessarily certain whether or not Donald Trump uh, ordered this review by the Deputy Attorney General of FBI Director Comey's tenure. I asked Sarah Sanders that question at about 5 o'clock this morning, uh, and she told me she was not aware of whether or not the president ordered that review. So we've gotten some mixed signals here about where exactly this came from, who ordered this review, what was the impetus for it, and why is it happening right now? All those are questions that we're going to explore, I would imagine, later on this afternoon here at the White House, Carl. This is going to be a very interesting press briefing this afternoon, Eamon. Uh, get a front row seat. It'll be one of the most interesting I've been to. <laughs> Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.